just being my last home game, uh, having to go like that. My mom and stepdad were here. Um, she was here last year for the first time, but her being here for this, uh, it was pretty special. And Cody got to be back as well. So just playing in front of people that I that I love is it's always great. My girlfriend was here, her whole family. So had a lot of people come watch this. So it was it was pretty great. What's most rewarding for for you and your teammates, guys who were here last year? You guys didn't finish uh, in the top of the ACC. You win the uh, share of the regular season title. What's it mean to you guys? And what did it take to to bounce back and, and win that championship, win a share of it? Um, I mean, it took a lot of work. Uh, we brought back pretty much the same team. We lost a couple of pieces, you know, Cody. Uh, but um, it just took a lot of work and just determination. You know, a lot of us. Uh, didn't really go home for uh, much time. I didn't go home at all last summer, just to stay here and work out. Um, so I feel like having the, the ending that we had last year uh, compared to the ending that we had this year, it kind of showed that the work that we put on uh, really paid off for us. Yeah, uh, Poppy, what's what's next for you after Virginia? Uh, we still got a bit left, so um, not really sure yet, but. Um, it's going to be something I'm going to have to figure out as soon as the season's over. Um, get with an agent and, and see and see what, what next step can I take. You guys had not been that sharp offensively the last couple of weeks. How good is it to have a, a strong offensive outing with the assists, with the shooting percentage going into the tournament? I mean, that's something that's just going to happen. Uh, you know, you have whatever you want to call it, bad day, uh, or just simply not, not playing too good or Whatever, whatever it is that you want to call it, it's going to happen. It's sports, you know. You're going to miss one day. You're going to make it the next day. Um, we've got a great team. We've, we've played pretty good defense. So um, I think that always helps. It's a combination of everything, not just offense. But it's always good to make shots. And, uh, you know, we started off pretty strong today. So that, that helped a lot for sure. How did it help cap the senior night with Chase Coleman hitting that three at the end? Yeah, I didn't get to see it because I was, I just came off and I was kind of hugging everybody and it was uh, kind of, you know, getting all emotion and all that stuff. So I was facing the other way and I hear everybody go crazy and I was like, oh, that's definitely Chase. And I turned around and he was uh, going all crazy, just tongue out and fingers out and all that stuff. So I was like, ah, yeah, I missed it, but I'm going to watch the replay soon enough, I guess. You and Ryan have, have played a, a, together a little bit over the last two games. Um, what's it been like playing with him, especially defensively, and how do you guys think that you work uh, down there? I mean, he, he's great defensively. Um, I honestly don't really, when I play, I don't think who, which one of my teammates I'm playing with. I'm just playing. We all uh, play pretty good together. I don't think there's a lineup that works better than the other. Uh, but it's always, hard, like, I mean, Ryan is a great defensive player as, as a freshman, uh, and he's proven that a lot. And like you said, especially the last two Couple games, uh, he's been he's been pretty good. So, um, so it was good. Yeah. You had the two dunks tonight, but you also had a role in two turnovers with some pretty physical, aggressive low post defense. Given this program's you know, focus on defense, how rewarding was that in your final game to have those two moments defensively? I I always like to have one of those moments or two or three or however many I can have a a game. Um, I always try my best um, to play defense, and I I don't really like when they say, "Oh, we gotta we gotta trap everybody." Oh, we gotta. I don't like to get trapped. I wanna just pride myself on one on one defense. Uh, I think it was funny because in practice I was saying that, and Isaiah was saying, "Oh, Jack was the same way." You know, you guys all like to compare me to Jack, and I'm just gonna compare myself to him this time. But. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I I don't like the trap, so it's, it's always good when like the first one or two times I get to uh, play pretty good defense, and like we're gonna keep it that way. Yeah. Uh, both you and Kihei have the national championship, these three regular season championships, but no ACC championship yet when it comes to the tournament. Does that give you a little extra? You've had two of them canceled, so you really even had yeah. haven't had in one of them. You were redshirted. You've played in one ACC tournament. Are you excited to head into Greensboro next week for that chance? Yeah, I'm just excited to play, uh, and that's just another chance to um, show how good this team is, and it really can be, especially later on in, in March and early April. So, um, yeah, I'm excited for that. Mm -hmm. uh, for your final game to be uh, one that clinches an ACC championship, to get out there to hit the three, what, what was all of that like today? A surreal feeling. Um, it's, it's something that you know I can tell my kids about, and my my nieces and nephews, and tell them I was part of something special here in Charlottesville. So, um, great feeling. Um, 
if I could do it over again, I would. Wouldn't change a bit. Where do you think the team grew most last year, middle of the pack ACC finish to this year, sharing a uh, part of the league title? Where do you think the team grew the most? I think we grew defensively. I think our chemistry built so well over the past two years. Um, we learned each other's games. We learned, you know, what we're comfortable with, what we're uncomfortable with. And, you know, we're trying to find ways to, you know, bring the best out of everyone. And I think adding iMac and, and Ben as well, you know, brings another aspect into it that we didn't have last year. So I would say the chemistry um, and just understanding each other and then figuring out how we can buckle down on the defensive end and get stops at the end of the day. Chase, how many times had you thought about that shot there at the end? Um, since the shot happened, I haven't heard the last of it from my teammates. So I don't think it's going to go out of my, my mind until maybe like a after ACC tournament or something like that, because I know I won't end, it here to end it, hear the end of it. Chase, you talked a lot about wanting to be a coach. Uh, what have you seen from the offense in the last couple of games, sort of going back to, to playing a lot more sides offensively? And what do, what do you think that's done for the team? I, I think that that's us going back to knowing what we know best, what TV knows best, um, just wearing the defense down on the other, on the other side of the ball. and. Uh, finding ways to make shots and, and do things where we were always comfortable in and uh, not just to discredit the other offenses that we run, but, you know, size is just what we knew. That's what we ran coming in since I've been coming in and even before me. So, I mean, he got to all the tricks. TB has all the tricks and the trades to it, and, and you know, he's just going to go with what he knows best. So I think that's what it is. Chase, you said if you could – do it all over again. You wouldn't change a thing. Have you all? You, you could have played elsewhere, more minutes. Have you always been at peace with the decision to come here? And if so, why? I've always been at peace. Um, I remember my dad telling me when I left my freshman year, first summer. Um, hey, I just got a call from a school. They said if you really want to come, they're still open to it. And I was like, I'm good. Like I'm, I'm learning a lot here. I. I was in a position where many people say they can't be. Um, I'm doing things that you know others can't do, so I just felt like um, the situation that I was put in front of me, I, I knew I could take the most advantage of it. Um, and it was no reason to change anything when you're learning from the best and you're also playing with the best in practice and hanging with them off the court. Chase, obviously you guys pretty confident and know you're good, but it, is it lift some pressure off to be playing well the last couple games and a half, uh, kind of going into Greensboro? Definitely. Um, that little slump that we had where we weren't making shots, and I don't think we were defending the, the way we usually do, um, it was, it was kind of like meant to happen just for us to, you know, all right, time to turn the gears back up. Uh, let's figure this out. You know, I feel like our worst part of our season has already passed, and we can only go up from there. Chase, how aware are you of kind of history when walk-ons make that shot on senior day? It's happened multiple times here. I got a, I got a best friend my, from my freshman year, Grant Kersey, and I know he's Mr. 100, so I know he's proud of me right now. 